Ja, das ist ja. My name is Darren Cummings. And I am of sound mind and body. Today I want to tell you the story of how I met Melissa Starr Adams. And the wonderful life I have shared with her ever since. It all began on June 5th. Shut the f*** up. When I was online trying to convince a girl that was hot, funny, and a badass. But I wasn't a complete loser. It wasn't easy because she looked like this. And I looked like this. But something I said must have been pretty charming. Or else she was just really bored that night. Because she agreed to drive all the way out to North Hollywood and get a pizza with me. That night we shared our first kiss. And what a kiss it was! No I knew right away that I never wanted to kiss anyone else. A few days later we went on our second date. And then our third. And then I started going through my little black book. Calling girls and telling them that it was time to lose my number. For 30 years? I've been searching for something. And when I met Melissa, I knew no I had No way! Her. On our fourth date, she introduced me to her friends. Some of which grilled me verses. And some of which crawled right into my lap and started rubbing against my face. Melissa later told me that she thinks Nas was just trying to tell her that the three of us were meant to be together. On my birthday, we went to Magic Mountain. And I asked her for the greatest gift she's ever given me. The right to call her my girlfriend. She briefly called me boyfriend before I became her boyfriend or something. And then eventually, just Darcy. The title I wear proudly to this day. A few months later, I started working on Law and Order. The first of many shows that would keep me away from her for 15 to 20 hours a day. We somehow survived that while still living an hour apart. Then, in February of 2011, I made sure I would never have to spend that much time away from her again. And we moved into an apartment together in Hollywood. We celebrated her birthday there. Our apartment was so full of people, we had to move the party to the bar down the street. Melissa would never probably understand just how much. And how many people love her. Although none quite so much as me. Since then, I have brought her across the country many times. Mostly to attend the weddings of my friends. And to meet my family. My friends all agree that she is one of them one of the best things to happen to me. My family all loves her. Like their own daughter. Or sister. Or, or granddaughter. granddaughter. And has welcomed her into the family. With open arms. Together we adopted a kid named Tyrion. And he was filled to the brim with love. And together we spent eight great months. Sharing him and mourning him has brought me closer to Melissa than I've ever been with him. Life is too short to not live with the volume turned all the way up. I learned from Melissa that true love is the difference between living and breathing. Melissa is my soulmate. She is my best friend. She stood by me when times have been hard. And celebrated with me when times were good. She is amazing in every way that a person can amaze. I trust her. I am proud of her. And I love her. Although we may disagree on music from time to time or on my abilities as a driver. We like all the same TV shows, books, and movies. And that, I think, should keep us busy for the rest of our lives. So that is my story. And I'm sticking to it. Of my life with Melissa so far. I would love to end it with... And we lived happily ever after. But before I do, I need to ask her one question. When did you have time to do that? Melissa, were you ready? Of course, yes. This really 
happening? 